Good afternoon. Welcome to Station 5. I'm Captain Dees. I've worked at the station for about four years and I've been happy to serve down in this downtown corridor area. This is engine 5 behind me. We have both a rescue boat as well as our engine and we serve as a high-rise engine company as well as a rescue operation that goes out on Puget Sound for rescue boat. You're going to get a chance to see a little of both. We're going to show you a, a brief overview of our engine and then we'll take you down the water. You'll get a chance to see us actually perform some things on the water. Hello, my name is Jack Reyes and I am the driver on Engine 5. Um, today we're going to give you a little tour of the engine and right now we're going to focus on something that we do a great deal of and that is called EMS which means we get to help people who are sick or injured. Um, my partners Mark and Captain Dees are going to sh uh, help me show you some of the things we would use in case of a medical emergency. So we're going to walk over here. We have this special compartment where we contain, where uh, we have um, some of the stuff that we would use. What Captain Dees is holding now is called the life pack and that's used in the event of uh, an emergency where somebody's heart were to stop. And we would hook that to the patient and, and hopefully help their heart to, to uh, start again. Some of the other things in our compartment is we have a we have a, this big yellow box has a lot of various things that we might use um, to help somebody who's not feeling well or who is injured, like bandages, um, you know, and various things to to make sure that they are uh, are that we can help them start to uh, get on the way of to feel better. Um, then another thing we might use to say if somebody was having trouble breathing, we would, uh, we would hook, we would get out this long black, um, container and this contains oxygen and we would, uh, if somebody were having trouble breathing, we would use this to, to, to assist them, um, again, to, to help them to feel better. Another part of the engine that we'd like to show you is some of the equipment we would use in case of a fire. Some of the things we would use to put out a fire are these hose uh, that we are able to pull out and stretch out to uh, a very long distance so we can get, um, so we can get water to say a car fire or into, inside of a house. You might need to, to stretch it a long ways. Um, and if we went to the back, we would see some other hose. That we would use for larger fires. It's, as you can see, it's a larger hose. So it can, it holds more water and shoots water farther so that we don't have to get super close. Um, our lar uh, the biggest hose we use is what we use to hook up to the fire hydrants that you'll see that you see all around the city so that we're able to um, have a continuous supply of water available for a very long time. Um, the cool thing about some of these hose is that it actually shoots out foam instead of water which might be a little bit more effective in putting out certain kinds of fire. Uh, we also have these smaller containers that we could use for really small fires that we don't, so we don't need to pull out hose uh, all the time. Something like a trash can or, a, um, or, or anything small. As you can see over here, Captain Dees is starting to put on the clothes that we would wear if we were to go into a big fire. This protects us from getting burned. And as you can see, he's putting on a mask and that makes it so that we're able to breathe inside of a smoky fire. It probably looks a little bit scary once he's all done, but it's stuff that we have to wear to keep us protected so that we could help somebody inside of a fire get out. A cool t a tool that Captain Dees has 
is called a TIC, which is, means it's a thermal imaging camera. And that allows him to see inside of a very smoky environment so that he would be able to find somebody inside when most people with their regular eyes would not be able to see. It's very cool, very important. And as you can see, his voice is a little bit muffled and you can hear him kind of breathe and it sounds kind of scary, but that, uh, it's, it's, uh, you just have, we just uh, know that he's, he's trying to find or help you inside, so you would want to make sure that you help him and not hide from him. Um, he's, he's, he's trying to help. Hi, I'm firefighter Mark Starrell and I'd like to take you on a tour of our Fast Rescue Boat 5 that we operate out of Station 5 on Engine 5 and Rescue Boat 5. So as you can see here, this is a 25-foot safe boat with two Yamaha 250 outboard engines capable of 500 horsepower. This safe boat has the ability to go 50 knots and we use this boat to do many rescue um, adventures. So as we go ahead and jump on board and we continue to talk about our rescue boat. So right now we're pushing off the dock and we're going to go ahead and get underway. So uh, here's all our normal controls, our switches to run the horn, the lights, um, our emergency lights, um, siren, radio, our normal radio to get to use to contact with uh, the fire department and then the ability to reach out on the uh, sea and contact Coast Guards and um, Seattle Vessel Traffic and other entities that are on the water as well. We also use um, sonar and radar to navigate where we are so we can take a look at where we're, what's beneath us, what's around us, and then if there's any other, any other uh, vessels or any other traffic we need to worry about on the water with our radar as well. We operate in the, primarily in the um, saltwater areas west of the um, uh, Ballard Locks. So Elliott Bay area, but we're also a regional asset that, be can, that can be called outside of the city limits of Seattle as well as needed. Um, and we respond to a various um, types of calls as water rescues, we can do uh, recon operation, uh, search operations, um, show up, we go on uh, fire calls, we can shuttle um, firefighters for marine fire, for uh, marina fires, we can shuttle personnel and equipment around the marina to different dock locations to be a water asset to move personnel um, from spot to spot.